Hey everyone and welcome back to my channel and today we're going to be going over the six rights of med administration and before we get into it I just want to make it clear that I know that everybody's taught differently on this some learn six rights of med administration and some learn ten just kind of depends on the book that you read and what year the book is from because as time has gone on things have been added The six rights of medication administration are a set of guidelines for EMS or other medical personnel to abide by, and this is to ensure the safety of the patients and also reduce the chance of overall medication errors. The first thing we're going to do is make sure that we're giving this medication to the correct patient. So it's very important that we ask the patient's name. If you're an in-hospital paramedic, the pa most patients will have like a wristband, but unfortunately out in the 911 EMS setting, a lot of times we end up going off the patient's word but you may ask your patient to bring their medication and you can always double check on their prescription bottles. And then the next one is going to be the correct medication. I don't know if your crew does this. My crew does where whenever one of us asks the other one to drop a medication, they'll hand the medication in the syringe and they'll also hand the empty vial to whoever's going to administer the medication. And this basically is just to double check each other's work and make sure I checked that it was the right medication when I drew it up and now you're going to check as you get it to your patient. It makes it less likely that we're going to make a med error. And the next one is the correct dose. If you're on the ambulance, then you and your crew should know your medications and your dosages in your scope and always have access to your protocol. And the next one is the right route. So there are some medications that can be given intranasally, intramuscularly, through the IV. However, there are some medications that if you gave it an incorrect route, you could end up killing or harming your patient. So make sure that you're giving it in the correct manner and the right time. So if we have a patient with an altered mental status, it's probably not the correct time to give them a narcotic for pain. Um, if they're already altered or let's say asleep, that's not something, or maybe, they, maybe they're hypotensive or something, that would not be the right time to give them a narcotic or another CNS depressant. And the last one is the right documentation. You want to make sure that in your narrative or your documenting system that you put what medication you gave, who you gave it to, the dosage. I know the rights of med administration have changed. They go all the way up to 10 in some circumstances. For nurses, a lot of times they'll say the right client education, the right to refuse, the right assessment, the right evaluation, which I'm sure could be altered and used out in the EMS field as well. But definitely those first six rights are vital. All right, guys, thank you so much for tuning in and I will see you next week. Bye.